we are having a Penang Roadshow uh, in four cities of India uh, from 15th of January to 22nd of January. Uh, first stop at Mumbai, followed by New Delhi, uh, Chennai and, uh, and the last one at Kochi. So we are here, uh, this is our seven uh, time roadshow uh, in India. Stop. Uh, yeah. So uh, we are here to uh, promote uh, Penang uh, as a, a destination uh, for tourists as well as for business travellers. The other aspect of, of Penang is uh, we are have, having a very strong uh, mine sector, uh, meeting incentive uh, convention exhibition sector. So uh, with uh, new hotels, uh, there are many ho new hotels coming up, uh, uh, renovated, and uh, uh, des new destination coming up. So uh, with new convention sector as well. So. We we hope that with this uh, roadshow, we can, uh, uh, you know, uh, disseminate information and have a business networking uh, with the uh, stakeholders in the tourism sector as, a, as well as the business sector, so we can have more collaboration uh, between uh, India and Penang uh, in the tourism sector. So, uh, uh, thank you, and uh, this is the seventh edition of Penang Roadshow uh, into India, and we are happy to be here in uh, Mumbai. And. Um, Penang has uh, various segments to offer to the Indian market, beginning with uh, honeymooners to family travellers, uh, as well as the uh, convention goers or meeting goers. Uh, so as far as the meetings industry is concerned, uh, we are leading in terms of uh, medical, pharmaceutical, uh, as well as uh, to a certain extent of agriculture related uh, conferences. And uh, Penang is also leading in terms of the incentive segments that comes in uh, from the Indian market. So uh, there are new product offerings uh, in Penang and every year there's something new that's uh, upcoming and uh, this year uh, there's a new convention centre on the mainland of Penang that hosts uh, easily up to 8,000 people at uh, one city. And uh, we've got uh, new hotels as well that's uh, upcoming and it caters uh, not only for business events but also for the leisure uh, market with uh, very much family focused uh, entertainment and uh, these are all the information, more information to come which we are happy to uh, disseminate uh, to the travel agents uh, from Mumbai we are expecting about a good 300 agents to turn out at today's event and uh, last but not least uh, we would like to uh, express our sincere gratitude and thanks to the uh, travel agents uh, from Mumbai whom have been uh, constantly supporting uh, Penang as a preferred destination and this has definitely helped us in uh, growing the Indian market and we look forward uh, to further collaboration uh, with this segment in India and we are happy to exchange uh, ideas and to collaborate further. Sir, as we all know, talk about that, talking about Maldives issue, after Maldives, do you think uh, people will go to Andaman and Panang also, sir? Uh, uh, de definitely, uh, definitely India has been a source market uh, for Penang. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the numbers has always been uh, growing uh, for Penang and uh, I believe um, the issue that you have highlighted uh, as far as Maldives is concerned has not uh, affected uh, Penang in any way because Penang is a different product altogether. So from uh, nature to culture to food to attractions, uh, beach, uh, it's all there and uh, it's a various product offering right up to even uh, cruise. So, um, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the travel agents of uh, India has been very supportive uh, towards uh, Penang and uh, every, every year there's been an update uh, on this and what the product has to offer for the Indian market. So, we only uh, see the market growing further for Penang and uh, I think the travel agents have been doing a fantastic job and uh, that is the very reason why we are coming back again uh, to India and I think we will continue uh, coming. Any message you'd like to convey to uh, the Indian consumers and agents? Okay. Uh, any message you'd like? Penang is uh, such an attractive space, uh, place and uh, the, both Indian and uh, Penangites uh, we speak the same language. English is a common language. 
Uh, that's why you will you will be very easy to communicate, come to Penang to communicate with the men of the street, and then you will find that uh, they are uh, culturally uh, quite uh, similar uh, for Penang and uh, as well as India. So you will find uh, 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 it, uh, at home, you know, when you come to uh, uh, Penang, uh, yeah, and also we offer uh, not only uh, the mixture of cultures. Because uh, they are they are Malay, they are Chinese, they are Indian, as well as other indigenous people in, in Malaysia. So that's why they are culturally uh, uh, very attractive. Uh, you can have an uh, experience of everything uh, in in Penang, uh, whether it's from the China uh, China civilization, the Indian civilization, as well as uh, from the from the Malay civilization. So you 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 can have experience the south uh, the Southeast Asia way of uh, uh, lifestyle. So you find Penang. Uh, uh, attractive.